What's up guys? It's your boy Rex the Power Builder. We went to Nationals this week or more exact the uh, Danish Junior National Championship. I've been prepping for this meet in about uh, 12 to 14 weeks and expectations was pretty high. And as you guys probably saw in the title of the video, I officially became the best powerlifter in Danish history. I made the uh, biggest total ever seen in Denmark and I got the most amount of IPF points ever reached in Denmark. But much more on that later. We will go through back squat and I will give you my thoughts. Afterwards, we'll go through bench press and I'll do the same thing. And lastly, we'll go through deadlift. I'll give you my honest thoughts and I'll take you through what I personally think I can do better, what I did very well this meet and what's to come in the future. So stay tuned. See, this got me some, something. It's a book, look. Can you feel the plug inside? Expanding your eyes. I can feel it too. Come another way through my rectum. It feels very nice. What's up guys? We just went to Nationals this weekend. Unfortunately, we couldn't do a full video because Silas was urgently rushed to the hospital and he had to get a stoma. Like we talked about in a past video, Silas has had some trouble in his abdominal area, but now it should all be fixed and set. Silas behind the camera, of course. Love you, bro. But anyways, he's healthy and I'm healthy after Nationals. And today we'll do a recap. As you guys probably already saw in the video description, I became the uh, best powerlifter in Danish history. So officially now, I'm the best powerlifter. We'll go through the uh, back squat first. Afterwards, we'll go through the bench press. Then we'll go through the deadlift. And then we'll sum it up. I'll give you my thoughts about the future, thoughts about the meet, and overall thoughts about my performance, what I did and what I really laid focus on that day. But overall, I can gladly say it was a very, very nice experience. I had a great time. And of course, as always, I have way much more in the tank. First and foremost, as you guys probably know, I weigh 110 kilos in my off season ish. This time was the first time I was down weighing 105 before my competition. So I didn't have to rush my cut because I was in really good time with my cut this time. So I didn't have to rush my weight drop and I didn't have to cut a lot of carbs or anything. So two weeks before the meet, I weighed in at 105 kilos, which was very exciting. And then I could eat some more food and drink even more water and don't think as much about uh, all my nutrition in the upcoming weeks for my competition. At competition day, I weighed in at 104.3 kilos and everything went great. I felt great. The only issue was that I didn't eat in my first eight hours being awake. So I felt very sluggish at my weigh in, but I was one of the first getting weighed in. So I could, it was quickly in, quickly out. Then I could go and grab some food and drink some electrolytes to make sure that my body was hydrated. In terms of hydration, now we go to the back squat. Attempt number one, 300 kilo has become a bulletproof first attempt for me, as you can see in the video here. Everything was smooth. It moved fucking great. Everything felt so good. And I was, I was worried about the depth, but the judges didn't have a shadow of a doubt. So they just white lighted it. And I got so excited because I know the technique I've been working on with Joey and myself 
was just working excellently. Then I talked to Jeffrey, he was my handler at the day. He said, Regen, that was fucking quick. Let's jump to 317 and a half. 317 and a half would be a 17 and a half addition to the national record, both in the juniors and the seniors. And I went in to my second attempt. After my second attempt, or no, in my second attempt, as you guys can probably see, I was very shaky. That was when it hit me. I probably wasn't hydrated enough. It moved okay when I look at the videos, but it felt semi-heavy. But I got it, three white lights, I went out, and the heaviest back squat done in Danish history is 327 kilos at 327 and a half kilos. And I said to Jeff, fuck it, let's go for 330. Really nice number. It would have been the uh, heaviest back squat in Danish history. But yeah, roll the clip, Silas. I'm new to men, let's go! Of course, I didn't get it. I overshot a little bit, but it was all right. I got what I came for. The points was looking very nice heading into the bench press. My first, my opener at the bench press. We'll roll it here. <laughs> that was a national junior record. It moved so well. And Jeffrey was like, all right, we'll just jump to seven and a half. That's nice. But then I went to my second attempt. I fainted. I fucking fainted. I could feel my head was dizzy, but I didn't know it was that bad. And that was why I, I couldn't log it out. I it just hit my, my chest and I was like, fuck. Fuck, fuck me. And I really needed those kilos because otherwise I would have to go way past my limit on deadlift. Me and Jeffrey wanted to secure it. That's why we didn't go up. So my third attempt, I rolled two, seven and a half again. Let's go. Come Come on! Let's go! Let's go! And luckily, I got it this time. It was very, very easy. And the mistake I made at my bench press was that I took my breath too early. Because I took my breath before I even laid down and made my brace. Normally, I just take my breath as I'm sliding up towards the bench. But I did it before I even lay down on the bench. And that made me just lose all kinds of oxygen to my brain. And that's probably why I fainted. But yeah, heading into the uh, deadlifts, I was a bit disappointed with myself because of my failure on bench press. But it still got me the points I needed. I just knew I could do way more and do way better. If everything went as planned, I would probably have 215 on the day of the meet. Heading into the deadlifts. <laughs> I opened at 335 kilos and it moved as easy as taking a nap after a long day of work. It was so nice, and that really built up some confidence in me. But me and Jeff still wanted to play it safe, because if I just went for 350, I would be crowned the best powerlifting athlete in Danish history. 
So we just went straight 350. That would make a total of 875 kilos, which would be the heaviest total in Danish history and would make sure I had the most amount of IPF points and would land me at 188.3 IPF points, which would beat the number one by two whole IPF points. And I got it. I, it was probably the best 350 kilo deadlift I have ever done. For my last attempt, Jeff just said to me, Regen, we're gonna go for the unofficial world record. Right now, the world record in the minus 105 kg junior class in the IPF is at 365 kilos. We were just gonna chip it, so go a ha half a kilo above it. I couldn't get it officially because it wasn't an international meet. I was totally fine with that. It was more about convincing myself that I'm good enough, I'm strong enough for what's to come in the future. So we went in. I did it, I got it up, and I got it two to one. So I got two white lights and one red light. And unfortunately, the jury overruled it. I was kind of bummed about it because it would have looked nice on the total and it would have looked nice on the uh, heaviest deadlift in Danish history, but I didn't get it. The jury overruled it and the jury has the final word of saying. So yeah, I'm still very satisfied with my performance. I'm sure it gives me a lot of leverage for the upcoming Worlds if I'm going there. Just for a comparison, the man that won Worlds last year, I think he did about an 855 kilo total. If I just did my performance I did to the Danish Nationals, I would have beaten him by 20 kilos. And of course, I can't account for that, but it's just a reference number, right? Not saying I'm, I'm surely gonna go in and win. That's not what I'm trying to say, but I'm just saying I'm up there, right? I have a good chance at making uh, some really good numbers at Worlds. I'm hoping that I'll go to Worlds and I will finally become world champion, which has been my dream for the last three years of my powerlifting career. And yeah, I started powerlifting three years ago two to three years ago actually in the uh, first lockdown. And it's pretty funny because one of the, uh, the jury members that overruled my lift, he called me this morning and he said, hey Reagan, uh, I looked through your lift about a hundred times and you could have applied to the jury for a new lift because he gave you too quick of a down signal. And I just said, yeah, it was fine. I'm still satisfied with the results because now I'm the fucking best. Would have been nice to have it, but we're just gonna make it official, baby. Lastly, I wanna take the opportunity to thank you guys very, very, very much. Because you guys give me a lot of motivation and a lot of encouragement to do what I'm doing. And I'm so glad that you support the things I have going on in my life. I'm very happy to share with you that this journey and everything we are going through, so very positive yeah thank you thank you fucking so much i also really want to thank my friends and my family for uh, showing the support and showing all the love i got on uh, meet day and just in general it's been amazing i am so excited for what's to come in the future both in terms of content and in terms of competition but also i have some exciting things to share with you guys soon and we just have to stay tuned it's going to get much much better and of course me and silas are still going to do the weekly uploads depending on if silas gets rushed to the hospital again but we bet that he won't because now it has been fixed but yeah lastly thank you for watching this video it was amazing yeah.